Hey everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about the A2A protocol. In a major leap towards interoperable AI ecosystems, Google has introduced Agent to Agent or A2A protocol. It's an open standard designed to enable seamless communication between AI agents across various platforms, vendors, and architectures. A2A empowers agents to dynamically discover, collaborate, and delegate tasks using standardized capabilities known as agent cars. By enabling agents to understand each other's skills and interact over common protocols like JSON, RPC, HTTP, and SSE, A2A removes the traditional silos in AI development. This breakthrough paves the way for multi agent workflows, cross platform automation, and plug and play AI systems. As enterprises adapt increasingly diverse AI tools, A2A offers a unifying layer that promotes scalability, flexibility, and innovation. In short, A2A protocol could be the foundation protocol that turns isolated AI agents into cooperative digital workforces. Now, in today's session, we will learn about A2A protocol. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Also, just that you know, if you want to upskill yourself, master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills to land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT Guwahati, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies along with the academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a generative AI program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So, what exactly do you mean by A2A protocol? Now, let's consider the definition first. An agent-to-agent -agent protocol is introduced by Google. It's a cross-platform specification for enabling AI agents to communicate, collaborate, and delegate tasks across heterogeneous systems. Now, let's uncomplicate this by considering a small example. Now, let us consider that you are an HR working for a company and you wanted to hire a candidate. Once you hire the candidate or once the candidate is selected, you need to talk to the IT support team to provide the resources like a laptop or whatever the necessary things are. And after that, you need to write an email to the pre-roll making accounts for the salary as well as PF, etc. And also, next you need to provide a specified or dedicated workspace for the employee. You need to talk to the IT and staff again, right? You go on writing multiple emails, some of them might respond back, some of them might not respond back. And one of the most major problem is they do not talk to each other. They are in silos. And it might be time consuming to close the entire task. But in case, if you had an AI agent which could do stuff for you, and if there was a channel through which each of these can collaborate, like they might have an update if the IT team says, yeah, we have already allocated the laptop and all the other resources needed, and the other AI agent which works with the payroll and accounts tells you or the other agents that, yeah, we have also worked on our task, and the PF account, also the salary account is done. And the last one, which says, yeah, the dedicated workspace has been allocated for the employee. And all those agents respond to the major hiring agent, and that agent responds back to you and closes the task as early as possible. So basically, it is creating a unified standard cycle or a pipeline to get the task done. Yeah, it might sound a little bit similar to MCP, but if you want to deep dive into MCP, the tutorial is linked in the description box below. You can also go through it. But to make it detailed, MCP and A2A work hand in hand. They focus on enhancing each other's capabilities. It's like an add-on to MCP. Now going further, 
You can consider A to A as follows. Here you are the user, and if you wanted to collaborate or work with one agent which is dependent on two other agents or the third agent which is completely remote or which is completely customized. You can have a seamless communication between all of these without having to hard code the ports and the instructions, everything, right? You just have to specify and they get connected and the job gets done. Remember, we spoke about the agent cards. So here in the communication, you will have two entities. One is the client and the other is the host. So each one of these agents who is working here will have their own unique agent card which describes what their capabilities are, what their skills are, etc. Like if you go back to the same HR example, you will be hiring a candidate based on the skill set. So they will be having their own LinkedIn profile which explains about them, their experience levels, the skill set they have, and the projects they have dealt with. So if the requirements match the profile, you go ahead and get him hired. In the same way, each one of these agents will have their own agent card which explains what they are and what they're programmed for and what they could refer to and what are their sources, how can they get their task done. If it suits your requirement, then you can proceed and get it done. Now, let's go to the Google's A2A website to have a little bit more detailing on the subject. So here's the big announcement made by Google, which is about A2A. So it's a new era of agent interoperability, which we had a definition for. And the people who were confused about the MCP. So here you can see an open declaration that says A2A is an open protocol that complements Anthropix model context protocol or MCP, which provides helpful tools and context to agents. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the partners contributing to AI agent to agent protocol because each and every company or each and every brand will have their own agent and they'd be happy to have a healthy conversation between their agents with a standardized protocol. Now here we have some A to A design principles that say embrace agent tech capabilities. A to A focuses on enabling agents to collaborate in their natural unstructured modalities even when they don't share any memory tools and context. Build on existing standards so there is no complication there. You'll have the existing standards like HTTP, SSE, JSON, RPC and much more. Secure by default so we will have an enterprise grade authentication. They can have confidence on that front and support for long running task modality agnostic. And lastly, modality agnostic. And now, further, we have how A to A works. So, here we have the capability discovery. Agents can advertise their capabilities using the agent card that we have described below, like a LinkedIn profile for a hiring candidate. And similarly, task management the communication between the client and remote agent is oriented towards task completion in which agents work to fulfill end user requirements. Collaboration, agents can send each other messages to communicate context, replies, artifacts, and user instructions. And lastly, user experience negotiation. Each message includes parts, which is fully formed piece of content like generated image. So here we have some real life examples like candidate sourcing. And also if you scroll a little bit further, you will have uh, the feedbacks from A to A partners. But before that, here you have the A to A website. So if you go there, here you have a few more explanations on how they exactly work. And here you have uh, the seamless agent collaboration, simplifies enterprise agent interaction, supports key enterprise requirements, and much more. So here we have the architecture of A2A. Proceeding further, here we have some sample codes on Google's GitHub. So we will be working on this. So we'll be working on the samples they provided. So if you walk through this particular file, so here we have agents. But now for sample process, they have provided us Crew AI, Google Agent Development Kit, and also the Langerov. So you can work on these three. Apart from that, you can also choose to go with any two or all the three together. So that's our goal now. So we'll be working on ADK as well as Langerov. And our demo will be focused on currency conversion. Let's say you provide some uh, uh, Canadian dollars and you wanted to convert that into American dollars, you can do that. You'll just write a prompt, you'll, you'll give a prompt like give uh, the Canadian dollars for US hundred dollars, something like that, and you'll get an output. So you might have to go through some demonstration for that. Now let's get started. So here you go. We have entered into the A2A samples Python agents file. So here we have the sample agents as we discussed, Google's ADA and uh, Langraph, Crew AI, etc. So we'll have a detailed walkthrough through this from Google's uh, website itself. 
So now we'll be opening some command prompts for us. That's our first prompt. Now this will be our second prompt. So we'll be having a side-by-side -side, uh, exercise for this. One will be the end user and the other will be the agent. So that's the approach. Now we need to uh, kind of uh, clone this repository. So to clone the repository, we need to go back to the desktop. So CD desktop. Now we are on desktop. So we'll be using the git clone command for this. Now we need to provide the URL of the website. So you can get that. Uh, let's go to the home page. Let's copy the repository link. That's the one. And you can just paste it over here. Okay, control E. Yeah. Enter. There you go. In case if you find an error here, that means your local system will not be having Git setup. So you need to just download and set up Git. It'll just take a simple installation procedure, which is most common. And after that, if you run this command, you can definitely get through this. Now it has been installed or cloned successfully. Enter into the folder. So CD A to A will be your location. Or if you have confusion, you can just check your desktop and you'll have the file name. Now you're inside the A to A file. Let's go back to the home page and see for instructions. So that's the one. Let's scroll down a little bit. So as discussed, we have uh, multiple agents here. So firstly, uh, the first option, we have the Google's ADK, which is uh, AI Development Kit. And next we have the MCP agent. And next we have the Langraph, followed by that we have Crew AI, Llama Index, and a few others. So the project that we're working on, Currency Conversion, is inside Langraph Currency Agent with A2A protocol. So here is a brief explanation on how it works. This agent uses Langraph, Google Gemini to provide currency exchange information. So you might also have to create the Google Gemini's API key. So that's also a part of the process. So here you can see the task is in three ways. You send a query and that particular forward query will be completely processed. Then you get the exchange rate tool. So you'll be having an AI tool which checks the price and exchange uh, numbers will be returned as the data. And in case if it's an incomplete operation, let's say you provide uh, the request for an unintended or an existing conversion, then you'll get a failure process. And all this time you'll be having a healthy online streaming service. So that is also a thing that you need to focus on. So here are some key features that you need to focus on. multi turn conversions, real-time streaming, push notification, conversational memory, currency exchange tool, and a few more. So they also provide you the prerequisites that you need to have. So you must have Python 3.13 or higher. You need to have a UV installed for virtual environment. And also you need to have the API and LLM keys. So the one we discussed about, Google Gemini's uh, API key that we need for communication on both the agent and uh, the host. So these are the simple steps that Google has already provided us. So the steps are as follows. So we'll be just copy pasting the codes onto the terminal where we have cloned our repository. So on the left hand side, we will be pasting the following commands. So CD samples, Python, AG, agents, and Langraph is the location. So we have our Langraph here. So we are in the Langraph folder right now. Now you need to provide the API key. So here we have the second command, which creates an environment file with your API key. So for this, you need to uh, go back to uh, Google AI Studio and you need to have an account there. So it's really simple. Just copy the code and we'll place it somewhere on a Word document or, you know, kind of a sticky note before we add the API key in that dedicated location. Let me open up uh, Word. So I've created a blank document. So I'll paste the code here without the API key. And we need to go back to the uh, studio and uh, the highlighted place where we have your API key here. So we'll be adding the API key there. Uh, in case if you're new, don't worry. You just go through the steps. It's really simple. You can see that uh, get API key option there, right? So you can click on that. So just close this pop-up. Go to get API key. Okay, uh, click on yes, I consent. I agree, accept. I accept, yeah, accept. And now you go to get API key. Uh, you can choose the option of create API key if you don't have any. So I've not created any. So uh, just go to the API option there on top. Yeah, that's the one. Now click, yeah, 
If you don't have any projects, you can just simply uh, take use of uh, the recommendations from Google or if you have an existing project, you can go ahead with that since I don't have any. So I'll go with the recommendations by Google. So it provides me my first project, first DAC project. I'll go with the first project. Create API key in the existing project. Yeah, I'll generate in the existing project. I think I've already worked on this, but uh, I have missed out. But not a problem. You can uh, use the existing uh, project as well. So we have copied the API keys. So the highlighted area in the red. So that is where your API keys goes. So eliminate all that. Uh, make sure that you have the double quotes. Don't miss out on that front. Now paste the API keys here. You can mask this. So uh, treat your API key as password. So don't reveal it to anyone. Don't share it with anyone. Now you can copy this code. Don't save it. Now you can copy the entire code. Go back to the terminal. And this is where you paste it. Enter. Right. Now you need to uh, run in the virtual environment. So for that, the next code is as follows. Uh, so there will be two of okay don't see so there will be two options by default your port number will be 1000 but in case if you wanted to go with a customized port then you might have to go with the second command where you will have to provide the port number so i'll go with the default one you we uh, run space start enter now a few uh, requirements will be downloaded automatically the virtual environment and all those uh, environment path variables and everything will be set automatically by the terminal itself. It might take a little while. So here you go. Okay, so far 99% of the job is done with one error on the API key environment. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think this is a simple demo. Let's continue with it. Now we'll be going to the next command, uh, the next command prompt. So the last one step where we need to do is uh, we'll be uh, getting connected with our client and run it in the virtual environment. So that should be in a separate terminal. So uh, we need to repeat the entire process and go into the host file. So now we will be into the uh, desktop. CD A to A. So now we are in the client file as they have mentioned. And now run the virtual environment to get started. Okay, uh, I think uh, we are facing slight issues with the API key here. Let's try that once again. Okay, uh, system could not find the path specified. I think that's the small issue with the API key, not to worry about. So the problem could be one of the two. Either we have missed out on any of the environment variables for Python or Lang graph, or it could be an issue with the API key. I think there must be a slight internet connectivity issue. Once that's sorted, you'll be having a healthy prompt to get conversing with your AI agent. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on A to A protocol for beginners. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.